Hello students, this is Mrs. Jones again. Um, today we're talking about estimating the number of concrete blocks, mortar, and sand. Um, the last couple weeks we've been working with brick. Today we're going to look at concrete blocks. So the very first thing you do in the process for determining um, or estimating concrete blocks is to determine the total number of linear feet. What that means in a structure it means the perimeter around the outside of the building. Or if you're just doing a wall, it's just the bottom part of the wall. Um, I always like to tell students that linear feet is the part that touches the ground. Now that doesn't work in all situations because if you're talking about the, a window later on, it doesn't touch the ground, but you kind of get my idea of what linear feet is. Um, so linear feet is the perimeter. So we're going to kind of work an example at the same time that we write our steps. So here it says, how many linear feet are there in a foundation that measures 20 by 40 and is 7 feet high? So. not a good artist. There you go. Didn't even recognize it as rectangle. As far as the seven feet high goes, we don't need to know that. We need to tr like make our brains think on three-dimensional figures for this. Um, the perimeter would be 40 feet here, 20 feet, 40 on the top, 40 on the side. So if we add all those together, and there's other ways to do it also, but you could add those all together to get the number of linear feet. Okay. Second step is to take that linear feet. This is a rule of thumb. We're going to take that linear feet and multiply it by 0.75. And that will give you the number of blocks in one course. A course is one row of blocks, so one pass around the whole building. So in our example here, I abbreviate things and I'm going to say block per course. And that means that we're going to take the linear feet and we're going to multiply it by 0.75. So in our example, our linear feet was 120 and we multiply it by 0.75. So we will get 90 block in a course. So that means for one row around the building, we're going to use, we're going to need 90 blocks. Now we've got to determine how many rows do we need to make to make it seven feet high, to make it as tall as we need it to be. So our third step is that we're going to convert the height into inches and then divide by eight. So our height in our problem over here was seven feet. If we're seven feet high, we would take that seven feet and multiply it by 12 to turn it into inches, right? This would be inches. And then we're going to divide it by eight, and that's going to tell us how many courses we need. and a half courses. Oh. So then the last part of this, uh, this part of the process is that we would take the blocks per course, multiply it by how many courses we have, 
and then that'll tell us how many blocks we need for the entire job. So we are going to take our 90 because that's how many blocks per course there are and we'll take it times 10.5 and we get 945 block. Okay, so just like brick, there's a process. There's a step one, step two, step three, step four. So let's um, do an example that follows that process the whole way through. And that is this number three here on your page. So step number one says find linear feet, right? I always like to sketch a little picture because sometimes that helps me. It's 30 by 62 and you got to remember that that's not standing up that's laying down on the ground so that perimeter is touching the ground so we would add up all of these measurements here to get a linear feet of 184 Step number two says that we are going to find the number of block needed per course. And the way that you do that, you take your linear feet and you multiply it by 0 0.75. So that tells me we need 138 block in a course. Our next step, or third step, is to find out how many courses we need to make it um, eight feet high. So how you do that is you take your eight feet and then we've got to multiply it by 12 to turn it into inches. 96 inches. Once you've turned it into inches, you're going to divide by 8. Does anybody know um, why we're dividing by 8? You divide by 8 because each standard block is roughly 8 inches tall. So in our fourth step, we would take and we're finding the total block. And that means that we take how many blocks we need in a course, blocks per course, and we multiply it by the number of courses, the number of rows that we need. So it is estimated that we will need 1,656 block, total block, sorry. For that job. So we found four things along the way. We found linear feet. We found blocks in a course. We found the number of courses and then we found the total block, right? I think um, I want to I want to pass over this example here about openings and the garage door, and talk about masonry, cement, and sand. So we used a rule of thumb with brick. And I don't even want to confuse you with that this time, but with block, it's different. That for every 30 block, we will need one bag of masonry cement or mortar, if you want to call it that. 
And then for, t for tons of sand, it's the same as before. Every eight bags will need one ton of sand. So I want to do one more example, taking you the whole way through the process, and then we'll go ahead and stop for the day. Um, we want to sketch a little picture. No, oh, that's a bad picture. There you go. And it says that um, how many blocks, bags, masonry, cement, and tons of sand are needed for a job that measures 20 by 28 with no openings and a height of 6 feet. So the very first thing that we need to do is find linear feet, remember? And when we find linear feet, it means that we just add for a building like this, we just add all of the dimensions together or it's the perimeter of the building, or it's the part that touches the ground. So our linear feet is 96 feet. To do block in a course, that's what we're really after here, block in a course, we take our linear feet of 96 and we multiply it by 0.75, right? And I get 72 block in a course. Good, now we're gonna find the number of courses that we need. To find the number of courses, we take our height, six feet, and we've got to turn it into inches. We turn it into inches by multiplying it by 12. And then we divide that by eight because the standard, an average, uh, our standard block is eight inches tall. So that means we will need nine courses or nine rows in our structure. To do total block, we then take how many blocks we have per course and we multiply it by the number of courses that we have or that we need and that will give us 684 total block. And now we need something to put those, that block together with, right? So our next step is to use the rule of thumb for masonry cement that I just told you about. We get 604 total block and every 30 block needs a new bag of masonry cement. So if we divide that by 30, we get 21.6, right? But we know from before we can't order 0.6 of a bag, so we would have to round this up to 22 bags. And then for the sand, the sand is, the rule of thumb is the same that it's always been. We take 22 and divide it by eight because for every eight bags, we will need another ton of sand, 2.75 tons. That's walking you through the whole process. So let me go back and just point out a few things. We very first found linear feet. And then we multiplied that linear feet by 0.75 to get the total number of block in a course. We calculated the number of courses that we need. That allowed us to determine the total number of block. 
We divided by 30 to get the bags of masonry cement. And then we divided by 8 to get the number of tons of sand. Um, I hope this video helps you. The next lesson that we're going to do is showing you how to do blocks with openings. Um, please go to the Google quiz, answer the questions, make sure you hit submit, make sure you hit turn in in the upper right hand corner of the Google assignment. And I hope you guys have a great day and I hope to see you soon. Bye.